The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Hello everybody, this is Captain Dennis of Squirrels Marine Divers. Today we're going to the Go Fast Cigarette Boat Wreck. We saw an anomaly a couple years ago and I've been trying to get out here to see it. And really go down and check it out. Here's what it looks like on sonar. So we finally got out here and today's the big day. We're going to go down and see what we can see. Thought it was a barge based on those uh, sonar images. And I was pleasantly surprised when I did get down here. We're going a little deeper today about 78 feet down and this is out kind of towards the middle of the sound as we start to descend you can see that we really start to lose light here we are down at probably about 60 feet and now we're at the bottom yeah this is what it looks like I'm just fumbling for the light switch it gives you an idea what there we go now let there be light now we got light. I dropped the anchor a little bit to the northwest of the wreck. So I'm down here swimming around, kind of feeling around, looking for it. Do my search patterns. Kind of looks like the surface of the moon, dark side. And I notice this little piece of rope. Rope's always a good thing. We're going to follow the rope, follow the rope. Follow the rope. Rope turns into chain. It's even better. Better sign. And there it is. This looks like it might be Lumar chain going to this anchor. You can see the anchor. Somebody dropped an anchor inside this ship. They might have been fishing it and she got all fetched up. Now that anchor belongs to the ship. It's definitely not a barge. I was pretty happy about that. Now, this is the first interesting thing. These two little lights stuck in the bow, but a very, very narrow bow. Very pointy bow. And go up and around the outside of the bow. And there's a lobster down here hanging out in these lobster traps that are all caught up under the bow. Here we can see the light for the starboard side. See a little broken there. It's got a bow eye, so this was a trailer bowl vessel. And here's the other light on the port side of the bow. And that's still intact. This is the first time I've ever seen headlights on a boat like this. I'm going to go down the port side, and you can see there's a bunch of lobster traps all smashed up under the bow. They're caught in here. It could have been from storms. Keep on moving towards the stern. Look underneath, see if we see anything. Nothing under there. 
Can't tell, it kind of looks like it's yellow and red. That could just be the growth. So this, on the side, grabbed it. And this is a, it's either a water or a fuel input on the side of the boat. Here you can see one of the massive engines. These are some pretty high performance jobbers out here. You can see all the headers coming off the sides. Here we are on the stern. Again, here's another look at the engines. front of the engines this looks like a, I'm not sure what this is a, I'm not a mechanic but it's like an air filter or an air intake or something this was broken loose just wanted to get a look at it for all you mechanics make your best guess hold on here we go Let's see if we can get a confirmation on the color. I can't tell if I'm scratching off paint, but it's definitely a fiberglass hull. It looks like white fiberglass. And as I'm moving back forward, I saw a little tail in one of these lobster traps. So I decided to open it up and give this guy a break. It would be a terrible way to go. These blackfish are known to get caught in these derelict lobster traps. And this guy was a pretty nice size one, so I decided to give him a hand out. Fly, be free! Now we're down, heading the starboard side towards the transom. You can see there's a cleat right in front of us on the left. Now we're on the starboard engine. Sort of, kind of. Okay, here's the other, I guess, air cleaner or air intake or something on the starboard engine. I'm going to wipe this off and get a better look at it. This is the top of the starboard engine. This is a pretty, pretty high power boat a lot of horsepower on this thing if you look you can see a little yellow spark plug wire there top right now we're going to swim up again inside towards the bow take a final look at the lights And we're going to... Hey, little Connor, living in the bow. We're going to look up here at the bow. It's a pretty flimsy fiberglass. And here's the coral encrusted bow cleat. And here's the bow. Well, we hope you enjoyed diving. We don't really want to salvage anything off of this because if you start moving it, you're going to start breaking stuff. And then you're going to have gas and oil. And it's going to be an environmental nightmare. So we just assume let the sleeping dogs lie. So check us out at Squall Screen, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And until then, I'm Captain Dennis.